American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology, or classic guidelines, uh, have had a very um, uh, unplanned evolution of the way they issue guidelines. It wasn't something based on a very calculated method. They gradually came to where they are. And they do not look at this from a practicing physician's point of view in a clinic that needs to make a decision. They look at it very much from an academician point of view. So they give class 2A, 2B, and all that. A practi most practitioners don't even know what these mean. And if once they know, there is so much room for uncertainty for them is, should I do it or should I don't? Now, that is once, in, when one argument is correct, it's good. It leaves rooms for individual thinking and judgment. Clinical judgment is something that physicians are uh, taught in med school that need to do that. But on the other side, leaves a lot of rooms for lack of wide adoption of guidelines that are accepted. So you will see an American Art Association's report with the, get the, with the guidelines uh, initiative that is still, uh, they've complained that it's still 40, 60, depending on the, the topic, uh, percentage of uh, their guidelines are not adopted. Well, they need to look back at themselves and see what these guidelines are easy and clear enough to follow. And, if as long as they're uh, as much as they're clear in the secondary prevention for prevention of second heart attack i can guarantee you they're not clear for prevention of first heart attack that guideline still leaves a lot of things you know in the air it doesn't give you a specific direction where to go and that's what our practitioners they have 10 15 minutes quality time with their patient they need to know where to go we have to guide them that's not apparent in that guideline. In fact, the, the, the conclusion that you and I and others could make could be also subject to debate from that guideline. That's not what an organization that's in charge of leading practitioners and public health care should do. So there is tremendous gap and need, and that's what SHAPE stands for.